Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I have my iced coffee here and I'm ready to sit down and talk to you guys about what I would class as staples that I want and need in my wardrobe. So as you can tell by the title, I'm working with my beautiful Princess Polly family yet again, I love you guys so much, to show you what I classify as staples in my wardrobe. Now, this may differ from person to person, your staples may look different to my staples, but in my wardrobe, I have multiples of these. I think that they are very important. They are what make me putting outfits together and pulling from my wardrobe very easy. Uh, you can take this with a grain of salt. Again, your style might be different to mine, but you could also use this as a guide. They don't have to be the exact prints or cuts or colors, but just general, a general rule book or guide as to what maybe you might be missing in your wardrobe that I classify as a staple, maybe you want to pick up. As always, the beautiful Princess Polly team have given me a discount code for you guys. Cassidy20 will save you 20% off site-wide. I will leave all links, information down below as per usual. So be sure to check out the description box, but everything will be down there as you need. Uh, but let's get into the video. Okay, so the same as every other video, I will start with the outfit that I'm wearing. I think everyone needs staple basic tanks. I'm really into color blocking at the moment and uh, monochrome. I think black and white is very classic and timeless. This is just a beautiful, a little bit more fir firm fitting tank that I don't need to wear a bra and they are my favorite kind of tanks. Anything with like a high neck or a lower neck, but any kind of tank is just so ideal. And then denim shorts. Whether you want them high-waisted, low-waisted, shorter, longer, more relaxed fit, more form-fitting, like boyfriend style, jorts, short shorts, daisy dukes, whatever you want to wear, I think a pair of denim shorts can be dressed up in the summertime and the wintertime. Like in winter, you can put stockings underneath them and wear them with boots or wear them with thigh-high boots. In the summer, wearing like a big oversized button-up shirt with a little pair of denim shorts and some heels. like. Denim shorts are so unbelievably versatile and I think a lot of people sleep on denim shorts. Whilst we're on the topic of basic tanks and basics in general, I think it's really important to have some kind of basics that aren't as basic, that are a little bit elevated from a basic. Exhibit A, something with like a detail or a bucket or like gold detailing, anything like that. Red, personally, as a blonde is just it's like apples and peanut butter, or cookies and cream. I think it just goes. I think it's eye-catching, and I think it's beautiful. So any basics that I can get in red, I will get. And I think this is just a really simple, easy top to throw on that looks a little bit more elevated than a basic tank. This with denim jeans is just so easy. Slap on a pair of heels and call it a day. Next, I feel like some of you are gonna lose your minds over this uh, staple item because it is a very hot commodity at the moment. It is a zip-up gray fleece hoodie. When I tell you the quality of this hoodie is unbelievable. It is so thick and so cozy. This feels very, very expensive. Like, very, very expensive. I think if you were to get this, you would be so happy and so impressed with the quality. I wore this to the movies the other night when I went and watched Saltburn. That was truly, Saltburn took my breath away. Any as I digress. This was the most cozy, wonderful thing in a time where I just needed what felt like a warm hug in a moment of discomfort, this this jumper provided that. And zip up hoodies, we all went through like a crew neck phase, like a big oversized vintage crew neck. And don't get me wrong, still very much in my wardrobe. Everyone needs a good oversized vintage crew neck, which I do have one from Princess Polly. And if it's still available, I will link it. But everyone's all the rave about zip up hoodies, especially gray ones. There's just something so like American universities in the 90s. That's what these give. Okay, next, everyone should have a pair of good fitting denim jeans in their wardrobe. I'm not gonna complicate it with different washes and different colors. I think if you're starting out or you don't know where to start, 
just any kind of blue wash denim jeans. Doesn't matter if they're darker or lighter, it kind of depends on what your preferred color palette is. But any kind of good fitting denim jeans, again, I have another pair of denim jeans from Princess Polly that I have shown in a haul a few months ago that are probably my most worn pair of denim jeans. So I will also link those as well. I don't know what Princess Polly have been doing in the last, I would say, two years, but whoever their fit model is, or whatever the lengths they're going to for their measurements, is just unbelievable because I'm getting more and more feedback that their fits of their denim are really, really good. So Princess Polly, hats off to you because you are really freaking nailing the denim scene. The shorts, the skirts, the jeans, well done. But the next staple that I require in my wardrobe is sets, co-ord sets. Because I've explained this many a times, within a set you get essentially three outfits because you get the set itself as an outfit, you get the top with a different pair of bottoms as an outfit, and then you get the bottoms with a different top as an outfit. And all you did was buy a set. It takes a lot of the thinking work out of it because at the end of the day if you just can't even fathom putting a, an outfit together you just wear the set and I think if you're bold enough to wear a color then that that's even better because it makes you look like you put even, even more effort in why is my fan not going I've been trying to figure out why I'm sweating absolute bullets excuse me is the spirit with me this set in particular is so stunning the detailing on it, it I, again, I've spoken about this in the past, the patterns, the sewing patterns that my mum used to have in the 90s, this is just giving those sewing patterns and I love it, it makes me feel nostalgic. Little mini skirts are very in at the moment as well, so a two in one here, I think any kind of mini skirt, a denim mini skirt, a black mini skirt. A red pattern mini skirt any kind of mini skirt it's just and then this stunning top with any kind of bottoms that you that your heart so desires I'm just going in any kind of direction in this haul um, usually I plan out like in which order I want to present these things to you but today I'm I'm feeling reckless reckless abandonment and I'm just saying you know what you'll take what I give you in whatever order I give it to you so next I present to you a sundress I remember hearing about this theory on TikTok that boys love girls in girly little sundresses and whilst I absolutely will not and will never dress for the male gaze I might have written that note down no, but in, in ser all seriousness, I think a beautiful little sundress, a colourful sundress, like a girly, like just this, this, a beautiful girly summer dress is so beautiful. And I think everyone should have something like this to your colour palette. Maybe not this exact colourway, but I know this style comes in lots of different colours. It's just so dang cute. Like, why would you want this in your wardrobe? But any kind of mini summer dress is a staple because I feel like this is what I wear a lot. I always plan out these really sexy, fun, cool girl outfits for the summer. But when it actually gets to the summertime and it's hot as balls, I'm not doing that. I'm not wearing a corset that I can't breathe in. I'm going to put this on that just looks freaking cute. Okay, next I have a longer skirt. We've already touched on mini skirts and their importance into your staple wardrobe. But I always want to have some kind of maxi skirt. Now I have gotten some of the most beautiful linen maxi skirts from Princess Polly. So I didn't want to get another one just for the sake of this video. So I did want to mix it up and get a skirt that I truly don't own. And I don't have any kind of like lace, tenderly, tentacly skirt like this. So this may not be classed as everyone's staple, but this with like a little graphic tee or a little graphic tank, or this with even just a plain white tank. You could wear this with cowboy boots or sandals or heels or whatever, but any kind of maxi skirt, because I feel like when you cover more skin, it looks like you're putting in, I don't know why, but it just looks like more effort's gone into it. 
don't ask me where that theory in my brain forms. I don't understand any of it, but it just makes sense to me, okay? It's like girl wrap. Okay, then I got a pair of comfy shorts. Everyone should have a pair of lounge shorts. Boxer shorts are all the rave at the moment, okay? And you know what? I'm really happy about it because they're so freaking comfy. These may not be your personal style, but I know these kinds of shorts do come in a couple of different colors and patterns. But they're so comfy, they're very cool girl, like I could wear this with the little red tank, I could probably wear it with this black and white tank. And you know what, rather than wearing like trackies that have been cut into shorts, like track shorts that look more casual, these are a little bit more elevated, they look a little bit more classy. So you're still going to the same level of effort, but it looks like you're going to more effort because they're not as comfy looking, if you will. Oh, I'm gonna give you whiplash and we're gonna go back to the mini dresses because this will come to no shock to anyone. This is a tale as old as time. What is one thing that like Cosmo and Girlfriend Magazine and Dolly, what were those magazines telling us that every girl needed in their wardrobe? An LBD, a little black dress. Because everyone needs a little black dress in their wardrobe. And I have little black dresses in my wardrobe, but are they the most comfortable to wear? No. And I've spoken about this many times. I really need to rethink items that I'm purchasing because it's great in theory, but if it's not comfortable to wear and it's not practical to wear, turns out I just don't wear it. Crazy, I know. This, however, is the most easy and stunning little black dress to just throw on. It's got a beautiful low back. It's beautiful. Okay, next. I don't know whether you sleep naked and if you sleep naked, that's fine power to you, I simply cannot because I live a life worrying that if I were to sleep naked, that's the night that something would happen in the middle of the night, some kind of emergency, and I would end up naked on my street watching said emergency unfold. It's just not for me. So again, power to if you sleep naked. Gym jams, pajamas, jammies, whatever you call them are a necessity in my wardrobe because I like to sleep in them every night. And even if you don't sleep in pajamas, do you not go and visit fam- like, at some point, you will need to wear pajamas. And I think it's important to have really cute pajamas. And these are- Princess Polly have so many cute PJs at the moment. PJs also make a really great Christmas present. Surprisingly, I give a lot of pajamas for Christmas presents because they're just- Everyone needs them. Everyone needs a good pair of PJs. And I think these are so freaking cute. Are you joking me? Okay, if you're a little water rat like me, you require, I was gonna say you require two things, but as a water rat, I require many things to go to the beach. But two types of swimsuits. Number one, a one piece. This one piece is obviously a swimsuit and it's so stunning, so flattering. It is just glorious. But the best part is this doubles as a bodysuit. So not only can I wear it to the beach, but this can be worn with those denim jeans as a bodysuit. And it's so flattering. It's so, it just hugs my waist and it just sits so nicely because the spandexy material is so flattering. It just goes and then of course, because I don't really go to the beach in one piece, I'll go swimming in a one piece, but if I'm laying at the beach or fraternizing at the beach, I will wear a bikini. I of course got myself a bikini and as a bigger busted girly, even though my boobs have now shrunk again after going on the pill, I don't want to talk about it. I'm still sitting at like a D, maybe a double D. I might be in denial. So I got a bandeau and as a big busted girly, I don't really wear bandeaus. I went with a 10 because I wanted it to be tighter so that it wouldn't fall down. I sort of wanted this thing to suction to my boobs because that is, I think every girl's 
biggest fear as a bigger busted girl. Like that's why we don't wear bandos because there's just so much room for error in a bando. I think these are so gorgeous. Like this print. Okay, now we've got some accessories. First up, a bag. I don't really have many like brown bags that are a bit more of a statement. And I really liked the strap of this. It's a very good, decent sized bag. This would, when I look at bags, I judge it by one thing. Will it fit my key, my car keys, my vlogging camera, a powder and some lipstick. And this will absolutely fit all of that. My vlogging camera is the bane of my existence. It, it truly is. And I love this little poodle. Okay, then I was thinking about shoes, footwear. And obviously because we're coming into the summer, my mind went to sandals. And I thought, what do I prefer over brown or black sandals? And then of course, Princess Polly took the hard work away and gave me a sandal that was both brown and black. And I said, this is literally perfect because now you can wear this with brown or black outfits. And then of course, everyone needs a pair of sunglasses. Black, brown, whatever your choice of color is, tortoiseshell, whatever you want. And these black ones are just so sleek and they look so expensive and they make me look like a bit of a snob in the best way. <coughs> that is my entire haul. What I classify as staples. Use this, as I said, as a loose guide. It doesn't need to be these specific colors or these specific styles, but just think of the category itself. So denim jeans, comfy shorts, a pair of swimmers, dressy tops, comfy tops. Don't forget to use my code CASSIDY20 if you pick up any of these pieces. Let me know down below what you classify as staples that I may not have touched on. Let me know what your favorites are. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Princess Polly, for working with me yet again. It's truly an honor to work with you guys. I absolutely love it. Don't forget to check out the description box. Everything down there will be there, everything that you could possibly need. But I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, guys.